afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am honored to be here with uh, such great dignitaries who wear in the dais. And I think I'm, I'm, I'm in loss of words because uh, Shubham gave such a big and interesting presentation. Now, after becoming God, you wouldn't want anything else, right? So, it's difficult to start when he has given you hopes to become God, right? And with uh, Pane sir here, of course, it gives you an idea what it could be or the power you can have in your hand. But having said that, not everybody becomes an IS officer, right, as Shubham said. But keep dreaming and pursue that dream, like Pane sir said. Just dreaming is not sufficient. Have that goal, have that uh, direction which you, which you want to take. I'm not going to uh, speak much. Um, Mr. John gave you an idea of what the corporate world looks like. I'm just going to give you some facts in terms of what are the things which you can look at. And I hopefully change some minds over here because I saw a few small hands, few, few small number of hands go up who were keen to be part of the corporate world. So, what do you need to be successful in the corporate world, right? As some of these speakers here already mentioned as to how you need to prepare yourself, how you need to be, um, you know, looking at which direction your career progression should be, what is that you want to do in life and things like that. So it starts with your college days, like everybody said, you know. To be in the corporate world, which is so dynamic these days, technology, as Mr. John spoke about, is changing every day. And the type of businesses which are coming in, for example, some of the speakers over here who spoke about animation, design, you know, creative writing and things like that which are coming in on a day-to-day -day basis and changing the corporate world. They all come under the same umbrella eventually, right? So they're changing the corporate world. Still needs a little bit of a preparation in terms of how you want to go about from your college days, right? First and foremost, I would say there are a couple of things which I would like to highlight. First and foremost is try to get an internship. Right? You might be in your first semester or second semester, or it might be in your final semester. It should not stop you, irrespective of which semester you are. If you have chosen commerce, try to look for those companies who are providing certain internship on, on accounts or on you know any kind of financial market or services. And these days, there are companies who are welcoming students with open arms when it comes to internships. It could be anywhere between three months to six months, or for that matter, even for a longer duration, depending upon how you adjust with your studies, right? Why it is important is the, I would connect it to the last point of uh, Mr. John, as he mentioned that Building connectivity or building relationship is very important these days. If you want to succeed, and if you know somebody from that industry, it always helps. It is not only about relationship, it is also about the process of give and take, right? If I know someone, you, if I'm talking to you, I'm sure, like uh, Mr. John said, you are providing or you're giving some ideas or thoughts to that individual. And similarly, that individual is interested to have you or to, to, to give you that opportunity in their company where those same ideas or those same thoughts could be implemented, right? So try to get an internship which is very essential these days, very important, right? These days, as somebody was mentioning, I think, again, I will quote uh, Mr. John here, he gave an idea as to the number of unemployed youth these days in our country or around the world, right? Now, it is not because they are not talented or they are not qualified, right? Some of these things which 
Mr. John had mentioned and then some of the other speakers who came up and shared their story as to how they went about pursuing their career in, in those specific fields gives you an idea as to what you need to do, right? In, 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 in Indian market itself, right, if you look at, uh, let's forget about the tier two, tier three colleges, right? Colleges like IIT, I think last year around 43% of them were not placed anywhere. So it's not about um, smaller colleges. This is happening to bigger colleges or bigger universities and names also. Where a big number of uh, students are not being placed or not being, uh, not getting the kind of job they are looking for, they want in their life. So these are important things which can teach you. Like I said, one is internship. The second most important thing is part-time job. There is no job small or bad, right? You, some of you might be already doing it. Some of you might be, um, you know, working in the. Um, in, in the hotel industry, some of you might be working with fashion houses for three to four hours on a daily basis, which definitely helps you cover your cost, cover your you know pocket money to buy certain things. Like uh, Mr. John said, if you are interested in shoes, you can buy those shoes, you can invest in those shoes. But more than that, what happens is when you start working during this phase of your life, you start learning quite a lot of things. You practice your communication skills, you practice your negotiation skills, right? You develop an interpersonal skills which requires on a day-to-day -day basis in corporate world. So these small jobs which you are doing will help you in a longer duration. When you are talking about yourself, or when you are talking about your product, when you are trying to sell something, when you are building trust, among those buyers is going to give you that skill set which you require on a day-to-day -day basis and this goes by far by saying not just in the corporate world but also when you become an IAS or an IPS officer, right? So there is no small or big job, try to get a job but if you can and if you want to get something out of the job, you can also try looking at the fields of interest which you are in. You know? And if that can come your way during your college days, there's nothing better than that, right? So that's the second point from my side, which I think it is important. Third is join a club, right? ZS and UD is one such club. I think it's giving you an opportunity today to listen to such prestigious speakers over here and then the members who are arranging these sessions, you know, for, you, for all of us to understand and learn from each other. Now, there are a lot of such clubs which you can start with in your college days. It could be a sports club, it could be a political club. They always gives you an opportunity to connect. Again, you know, I'll come to that point. Mr. John said, the connection which you build will always take you way forward then if you try all by yourself all alone. End of the day you have to remember, you know, we as a human being are not a lone warrior. We have to always be associated with people. We have to be always surrounded with people. And these are the people, these are the connections which will help you grow in your day-to-day -day career or in your hobbies or in your pursuit of happiness or whatever it could be, right, which you're trying to achieve. Now, there are a few other small clubs which I would like to highlight right now. What happens is we hear some of these things when probably you are studying in your colleges. There are tools which gives you an edge. Some of you who are doing or who are pursuing technology in their day-to-day -day career might have heard of tools like Python, Kapow, right? So there are these clubs, either you can go to LinkedIn or any other such pages, local pages, local chapters, where you can become a member. There is no requirement to be a member of these clubs. There are these learning uh, kind of videos or 
links which you can look at and see what it requires to be part of those clubs. What do you need? How do you want to go and learn what the powder is, what kind of tool it is, what are the languages you want to learn? You must have already done it, some of you, right? Similarly, there is something called PMP, you know, Project Management Certification. Now, these tools are something which we know and which we use on a day-to-day -day basis, but we do not understand the impact or the use of these tools which it can bring on a day-to-day -day basis to the job which you are doing. You can go and look for something called Project Management, PMI Delhi chapter or PMI, whichever city you are from, you know, all the bigger city has their own chapter. Again, you don't need to be pre-qualified to be part of that, those chapters or those groups. Go be part of those groups, explore yourself as to what you are looking for. Now these project management tools can be used on a day-to-day -day basis. We must have heard, most of you must have heard something called fishbowl, right? Fishbowl, as the name stands, it just looks like a fish without any flesh, the head, you know, the bone. What does fishbowl does? It, it comes from a Japanese concept. It gives you a target at the start of the head, and then you put the pros and cons of what will take you to that target. You know, what are the people issues, what are the technology issues, and so on and so forth. Now, this same fishbowl could be applied in any industry, be it technology, be it finance, be it banking, or even for that matter, you know, like in, in gaming, you know, if, if they are designing something and they want to reach there, they might be doing something similar. They might be putting what are the things I require, what could be a hindrance. So these tools and the usage of these tools could be learned from these folks who you will be connecting on a day-to-day -day basis, either through, you know, various social media or they have these gatherings. And at the end of the day, the best thing is at the end of the day, they give you a certification, right? You have to just, whatever you are interacting on a day-to-day -day basis with these folks, comes into your, that online exam and you can be part of that chapter, not just as a member, but as a mentor also. Even today, when I am doing something in my current work, I just put that, if I'm, if I'm stuck somewhere, I just put that statement in that I'm part of EMI Bangalore chapter and there is a group in LinkedIn. So I just put that, that issue in that community. And then you see this thousands of, you know, ways to do things which pours in from different people, you know. That's the best way to know and understand what you are probably missing when you're looking at the the problem from, say, 10 different perspectives or 100 different perspectives, right? Something similar is, again, a Japanese concept called Six Sigma, you know? Now, again, these are something which you don't need to, again, as I mentioned, don't need to be qualified for. You can, and again, any stream, you know, be it if you're doing engineering, if you're commerce, even if you're studying medicine, some of these tools are used in every industry and you can go to these groups who are part of such you know industry and who are sharing their thoughts and ideas on a daily -day basis right the, the fourth one is the third point of again I'll quote because we, we almost come from the same industry, so I was thinking I might not have to spend so much time considering this John has already given you so much insight of what it takes to be in the corporate world. It's build your network, like, right? In groups like this, you know, um, Mr. John just said that he moved out from, was it Disney? And he's gonna be part of Microsoft and he was emphasizing that we, we build your network. Don't hesitate to take his number today, okay? I'm sure he will help you, he will guide you in the future if you are looking for something similar in what he is currently part of. So do not hesitate to approach any one of us for that matter, you know? 
and share your numbers or share your social media handles so that you can be in touch with us or you can understand and know what is happening, you know. And who knows, from here we might connect you to, you know, four or other people in the similar industry or a different industry. So always build that relationship in such gathering and such scenarios and situations. Last but not the least, um, considering that you guys will start to look for job, right? Your resume and your personal branding. Nowadays it's not very difficult, right? If all of you might already have certain social media handles, you might have Facebook or any other social media handle or LinkedIn uh, you know, accounts which primarily looks at corporate people. But it is very important how these days you create your resume, right? How much more you can put in a less number of words. There are different professional services available in the market which you can go after, no doubt. But there are free services as well in the, in the market. You can Google it up. You can see some of the best resumes which were built in the recent days. Go look for those resumes. See what you can do to your current qualities which you have or the expertise you want to showcase. Do not forget to mention your part-time jobs or your internships which you are doing uh, or, you know, or if, if you have done or if you are part of do not forget to mention that in your resume. But in a more beautiful and creative and attractive way, right? So these are some of the things which I believe four or five things which can not just help you uh, get a job in, in corporate world but also to understand where do you stand in your life, you know, in terms of what is that you want to pursue. It is, again, I will quote back again, you might not know, you might just know that 20% of uh, what is that you want to do in your life is something which you would know when you just pass out of your college. And once you join the corporate world, it might give you a more clarity as to where do you want to end or where do you want to take your career graph to, right? Um, when I was talking to, again, I will quote Mr. John, when I was talking to him, he said that, he, he, as, and he mentioned, right, he studied economics, um, but he came from a recent, you know, background of regulatory and compliance, which I'm just getting. I was doing completely different from regulatory and compliance. I was going after these capital market instruments, which we call bonds, in the market, you know, in the international market. I used to read through 50 to 100 pages of documents to see what these bonds are about. When somebody is investing in these bonds, what is that they would want to know? So from that, now to regulatory and compliance. And prior to that, I was doing ratings, which was, again, completely different from, uh, from you know, adding bonds or understanding bonds. So my journey is a classic example of these five things which I just mentioned. I started um, with, with, there is something called risk management in corporate world, which we analyze what kind of risk the company will get into if they are investing in some place. From there, from there I became um, a rating guy who was rating companies and, and governments. From ratings, I moved out and I became a business analyst where I was making projections and, and presentations to see where the business can go, what kind of investment we should be making. And now from there to regulatory and compliance, which only talks about what are the regulations a client or an investor has to keep in mind before investing, right? Which has nothing to do with from the previous job which I have done. So these are some of the benefits of corporate job. Uh, hopefully, you know, uh, I have done something good here to convince some of you guys to, to, to ponder about things which I just spoke today. Um, again, we have another session, I think, post this where you can ask any question. I'll, we'll be glad to answer those questions and 
I'll be glad to go over some of these things which I just spoke about today, right? So I would like to thank all of you uh, for giving me this opportunity and uh, to all the distinguished guests over here as well who have been sharing such beautiful insight. So thank you everyone, thank you very much and God bless you all.